Hi there, it's Sam from Poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me in Spring Watch. This is my 14 day marathon of videos. It's not really a marathon at 14 days, but there's lots of them, but they're back to back for 14 days. And we are focusing on uh, products from the spring catalogue and of course a few from Celebration. And today's project is something that I thought might be nice for a bride to have, perhaps as favours or something like that, or maybe even just an, an elegant birthday party. This is not something for a child's party because because inside my little matchbook, two heart sparklers. Maybe if you are having a posh Valentine's meal with your loved one at home. But they are heart sparklers. And if you want to know where to get hold of them, I got them in uh, the UK, obviously, from Amazon.co.uk. Presumably Amazon.com will have something similar. But they're little matchbooks. And the focus today is on the Something Borrowed designer series paper, which is gorgeous. It is whisper white and Sahara sand throughout the entire range. I haven't got the whole pack here to hand because it's actually down lower. <laughs> if I brought it all out you'd never see anything. But the whole collection, you probably can't see that, the whole lot, everything is just those colours. Perfect for bridal work, of course. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Very, very simple. A matchbook is very simple to make. This uses a piece of cardstock that's eight and a quarter by two and a quarter, which means it's the width of a sheet of cardstock, and then you could get quite a few out of the length. If you're working with eight and a half, I would trim it down because it, it's it is the perfect depth to be able to fit behind any longer, and it would you'd end up with bent cardstock. So do trim it down. Um, and obviously, we're only working on the length. Uh, sorry, that's 21 by six centimeters for metrics. Um, but you score it at one inch four and seven eighths of an inch and five and one eighth of an inch because we want the little hingy bit up here and that in metric is two and a half, twelve and a half and thirteen centimetres and then just come along fold and score and burnish because obviously again we want to make sure this is nice and crisp so it's not going to ping open or anything like that. Pop the DSP panel on the front and that Normally you would sort of position your DSP into the middle. You want to position it up to the top because this bit's going to be hidden. And it measures 2 by 2 and 5 eighths, which is 5.5 by 6.7 centimetres. And isn't it pretty? The paper is just so gorgeous. And actually, to my eye, that looks like it's wonky. Is it? Oh, it is. It's ever so very slightly off kilter. That's just outrageous. Let's trim that down because I've already started filming. Is it? I don't think it is. I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> How long is it meant to be? Two and five eighths. No, it is perfectly straight. Is it? It is. It just... <laughs> it's an optical illusion. That to me looks like it's not straight, but it is. Funny chicken today. So... Two by two and five eighths, five and a half by six point seven centimeters, and like I say, position it to the top of this panel. Look at that! It is. It's perfectly straight. How funny! <laughs> my brain's not in gear. Okay, I'm going to bring in my stapler. Obviously, it's the Stampin' Up stapler, which has got a bit of a long reach on it. I don't need the length, but what you do need to do, because although I'm not actually stapling these into place, they can be brought in and out. Um, the sparklers I'll show you on this one you can lift them in and out if you staple first you can't then get them in because it becomes too tight when you put your staple in place um, so you kind of have to put these into in situ first and then staple round them and then you know that it's it, the staple hasn't squished itself too tight and come close to the bottom when you're stapling absolutely fine no issue they're not going I can now put them in but they're not going to fall out whereas you know before it wouldn't have liked it I just wouldn't have been able to get them in and then let's just finish this off finish this cute little project off okay I've got the silver baker's twine which is lovely it's so pretty it really is I kind of didn't really use it very much when it first came out for no reason other than I just didn't think to pick it up. There's nothing sinister in it. I just didn't use it. But it is beautiful. So twist it around three times. It's sort of covering up the staple. Not deliberately covering up the staple. 
but it kind of is. Tie a bow. And baker's twine is very good if you're your bow challenged like I am. You can fiddle and twist about with it, and it will still look pretty. Oh, thank goodness. Whoops. Assuming you can cut it properly. There we go. I'm just going to reposition that, all of that slightly. And my bow now doesn't look pretty. We'll pretend it looks pretty. And then just the final bits, I've got three punches. The one and three eighths, which is the perfect backdrop to the one and a quarter scallop. And actually there is a one and a quarter plain circle as well. So I'm going to take that with the Dazzling Diamonds glimmer paper. So that's the scallop one. I've got some Sahara hand, Sahara hand, Sahara sand cardstock with the one and three eighths. And the four petal flower from the Itty Bitty Accents. And I'm going to lift that up oops, with the back of my paper piercer into the centre. Grab a pearl and I'm going to go with the biggest one. Let's make it the focus, of course. And then just put it all together then. So I've got dimensionals to put these together. Oh, the rain is throwing it down outside. It is not a nice day. Everywhere else in the country has got snow, apart from us. We haven't got any snow. My children are not happy. Apparently it's wrong that we haven't got snow. We didn't have snow at Christmas when everybody else did as well. Personally, not so bothered. <laughs> and then off into the top corner. And perfect. Little accessories to go on a table. Like I say, originally in my head it's designed for a wedding, but you know, you could change up the colours and do it for an elegant tea party, maybe where there was a celebration, a bridal shower, or maybe just a Valentine's with the two of you setting off some sparklers. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.